Welcome, welcome. I'm the Reverend A.L. Cutler Sr., pastor of the United One Way Baptist Church, right here in the lovely city of Augusta, Georgia, at the corner of 13th and Hopkins. That's 1042 13th Street, Augusta, Georgia, 30901. Along with me today is the Reverend Inez Cutler, co pastor at the United One Way Baptist Church. Well, all year long, our church theme is a church walking in unconditional love. Amen. Oh, what a joy. What a happiness it is to walk in unconditional love. Amen. Co pastor, we're going to have a field day preaching and teaching about walking in unconditional love. Amen, Pastor. Oh, today we want to invite you to come back with us to our round table as we sit together with co-pastor and myself at our round table. We will be reading and discussing great things of joy and happiness about love. Amen. We are still in our virtual stage. We're we're out of the church building, but we're not out of ministry. My Amen. God. We're still ministering unto you because we love you, we miss you, and uh, we miss the fellowship. Amen, We Pastor. miss the joy Amen. of walking around, shaking hands, hugging one another, yes. things we can't do right now. You know, we used to take it for granted. Mm. Amen. But you, at the twinkle of an eye, it slipped through your hand. So we are ready. We're ready and we're willing and we are able, amen, to teach today with, from our virtual stage right here on our YouTube channel. Amen. 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 God bless you today. We're going to be reading our lesson. will come from 1 John. 1 John, the fourth chapter, verses 7 through 9. Co-pastor, will you read that for us? Amen. Amen. I want to again say that we are excited definitely about this journey uh, with our round table. And we want to say to all our radio listeners, continue to invite um, a family member, a friend, to come and participate, sit around and hear us as we discuss and we dialogue about the Word of God and what it is saying in this season. So our scripture for today is 1 John chapter 4, beginning at verse 7. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. Verse 8 says, He that loveth not All right. knoweth not God, All right. for God is love. That's it, that's it. Verse 9 says, In this was manifest the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only, only, only. begotten Son into the world, that we might live through, through him. him. Amen. 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 May God add a blessing to the reading of his word, that it will become an edification to our heart, soul, and our minds. Oh, what a, what a unique package here. 7, 8, and 9. Give us great things about the love of Christ and the love of our God Almighty. Today we'd like to talk to you about everyone that love it. Amen. Everyone. Everyone. That love it. My God. Amen. You know, all of us, we are God's children, and we are children of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And it's important that we learn how to love and care for one another. Amen. Why? Because Amen. God is love. And if he's teaching us love, it's up to us now to teach others, to train others, and talk to them about loving their families, their friends, their neighbors, a loved one. People that don't look like you. People who are not the same race you are. People who didn't come from the same city or the county or the state or the, or the United States or the nation. But people all over the world, we need to learn how to love one another. Everyone. Amen, to learn Pastor. How Amen. To love. Amen. Amen. You know, as we began in this particular uh, passage of Scripture, and it says, Beloved, let us love one another. All right, all right. In other Beloved. words, you know, we, we, we're setting the stage. Jesus is setting the stage. John is telling us Amen. that we are commanded to love one another. 
Amen. In other words, he's he's opening up that door saying, now it's not enough that you love Jesus, that you love God, but you got to first begin to love one another. All right. In this particular passage, it says, beloved. In other words, you know, brethren, whoever you are, let us love one another for love, love. is of God. That's it. That's in, it. In other words, we can we can't continue. We talked about last week being called to a higher standard. Come of on, love. come on, preach. So when we look at this you this week, on. say that, say that. Saying, let us love let one us. another for love is of God. Woo. And if love is for God, it my, says, my, my. you know, with it being of God. Yeah. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. In other words, you can't confess. You can't confess the love of God when you're not able to love your brethren. All right. All right. If you love your brethren, that is a sign that you love God because God loved the world. So we are to love all mankind. All mankind. Not just Christians. Come on, Pastor, but you, here you put it in there. Put it in there. It up that you we are that. to love everyone. Everyone. And if we love everyone that is born of God, that's it. That means you know God. You are part of God because why? God is love. Amen. We want to get everybody on board. We want to get everybody in the same page. Everyone need to learn how to love one another. Amen. Love one another. Amen. For love is from God. And if you're from God, you got to love. If you don't love, then you don't know God. Because to know God is to know that he first loved us. That's Amen. it. Amen. He gave himself for us. God gave his only begotten son that we might have the rights to the tree of life. That we might have another chance to get to heaven. Amen. To be a part of, of the new, new uh, Jerusalem. And I'm so happy and I'm so excited about loving one another. I can't help but to love people. You know, co-pastor, we often say, I, I love you and ain't nothing you can do about it. Amen. And that's, what, Amen. that's what we need Amen. to do. That's the walk that we need to walk, the talk that we need to talk. We need to be ready to love ye one another. Just like Jesus did with the woman under, at Samaria. Mm -hmm. The woman who came to the well at Samaria. Jesus taught her and said unto her, I understand that, that you had five husbands, and the one you with now is not yours. My Lord. But he didn't throw her away. No. He loved her, and he told her all about her business. And then she ran back in the town, saying, come see a man. My God. Leave. And you know, brothers and sisters, that's what we got to do. We got to compel to draw people to Christ, and not yes, drive yes. them away from Christ, but to bring them to Christ. To let them know that Jesus is about love. He's about forgiving. And whatever you've done, it doesn't matter how long you've been in it. You can get forgiveness with this Jesus type of love. Amen. You know, Pastor, when you talked about, you know, the Samaritan, the good Samaritan woman, the woman, you know, Pastor, she was considered unpure. Yeah. She was considered, in other words, he wasn't even supposed to mingle Stop with her. talk with her. But, but Five you know, husband. that's the way it is in Come the on. Word of God right now when it says love everyone. Yeah. In, in, in other words. Doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter background. It Come doesn't on. matter who you are, Come what on. you've done. Because why? Because for God so loved the world that he gave. Woo. He gave his only begotten son. Yeah. That whosoever believeth whosoever. in him would Be not that perish. But have right. everlasting life. And, and and we have to keep in mind when we get began to get boastful is that Christ came, that he died for the sinner. Yeah. In in other words, the sinner man the sinner is man. what we need to be reaching out come to. Come on, come on. We need on. to be sharing love with. We don't have, we don't need to have a particular crowd that we love better <laughs> than nothing. Come and, on. And I know I'm gonna go there, Pastor. Got your group. I'm gonna go yeah. there. Sometimes we get to grouping in churches. Yeah. Well, yeah. we got certain groups I got my we want to love. Yeah. Or this group is better than that. Yeah, we said over him. This group pay more. This yeah. group sing better. This is the singing group. This is the working this is group. The, yes. Yeah, but you know, the, Pastor, 
pain group. We need to be able to look Come at on. all groups all and group. say we are all one. One. Amen. We are all one and we yeah. all confessing the Christ that should be in us to be Christ like. Yeah. Which brings about that the love should be for all mankind. Oh, oh not man. just certain groups, but all mankind. For it says, you know, the love, the the latter part of that says, one that loveth is born of God and knoweth him. Yeah. You know, so he when you truly know God and Jesus come alive with you, come on, in inside of you. Everything about you should become true and you should be able to automatically yeah. show love. Why? Because it should be a part of your nature. That's it. That's your, your DNA. Your nature as a Christian Come on. should be that DNA. Hey, hey, if hey, you hey, got hey, Christ's hey, DNA, hey. then it ought to be an automatic thing. It'll show up. It'll show up every time, Pastor. Hey, hey. Yes, it will. In the eighth verse, it says, he that loveth not. Oh, my goodness. Knoweth not God. All right. Say what? For God is love. He mm. that loveth not. If mm. you don't love, you don't know God. That's All what it right. says. If you don't know how to love people and get excited about them, then you don't know God. Because mm. God is love. Amen. He's love. That's He's wrapped up in love. Just like uh, uh, in our love chapter, First Corinthians 13th chapter talks about what we need to do to love one another. And the last thing he says, he says, but the greatest of these is charity, which is love. Love. Love is what God wants you to do and what he expects of us in order to treat mankind. And the Greek word for love, uh, in the Greek word, it says agape. Agape my love. God. And my that's God. what we need from the Greek to learn how to love unconditionally. Amen. Unconditionally. Amen. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter what race you come from. Doesn't matter what city you come from. It doesn't matter who you are or what you've been doing or how long you've been doing it. God wants you to reach out and love people. Love those unlovable people. Amen. The one under Amen. the bridge. Go under the bridge. All love right. them. Amen. Reach out. Amen. Uh, invite somebody to church. Invite somebody to Christ. Let them know that you love them, no matter what they look like or how they smell or what the cause might be. You learn how to love because if you can't love people, you can't be from God. Amen. What the word says Amen. Is, he that he that loveth not knoweth not God. All right. For God is love. Amen. You know, Pastor, that's so true because when we look at it, it says. You know, we we are to love everyone. Yeah, yeah. So what what we are what the word what is saying, saying is that saying? we are obligated. We are obligated. We are obligated to you love one another. I love how John comes in on that seventh yeah, verse. Yeah. See when John comes in on the oh, seventh John verse, is a writer. He's John, a writer. John talks about the positive. Woo. He says, Beloved, let us love one another. Yeah, yeah. For love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God yeah. and knoweth God. But you know, Pastor, when you get down to the eighth verse, John was giving out positive about, let me tell you, the benefits of Ooh. who you are and how you're supposed Come on with to the co love him because that's a new birth. You said and you now. have the you knowledge said. of God. But then he flipped right around in eight. In verse 8, and he reversed that thing. Yeah. And he takes it to a negative. He said, now, I'm telling you what the positive of this is. Come on this with new it. new birth and the knowledge of God. He said, but let me tell you, there's a consequence. There is. He said, he that loveth not, not. knoweth not God. That's it. For God is love. He said, don't go around here confessing that you, you. know God. And you're not loving everyone. You come on he with said, it. That, that, he, he brought that. You said a word. Said, said. That, that give evidence you said, that you girl. do not know Woo! God. When Hallelujah. you can't show love, come you can on. holler about I'm saved and sanctified, however you want to put it. But when you can't show love, then that's a sign that you're giving evidence to the world. Come on. To those that's watching you. That you do not know God. Amen. Because if you did, you could love. Why? Because he says it in the word here. He says, for God is uh, 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 love. love. 
And when we are human, see, you have to be careful because right there in the eight, it brings it out. Yeah, yeah. We we try to love. I love you if 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 you can do something for me. Yeah. If you can take me somewhere. Yeah. If you can give me something. Yeah. Or if we we don't say I love you if we began to say I love you because I you love, love you. me. I love, I love you because you love me. Yeah. I love you, you because me. you I ain't take love me you somewhere. No more. Come on. I love you. But God love is. I love you anyhow. In spite, in spite, in of, spite of what you're no being. matter what you're going through. In spite of what you're going through. In spite of what you look like. What you smell Come like. Come on with you it. You can be bloody in a ditch and I Woo, still, love, still you. love you. You can go and you can steal everything in the world. I'm still and I'll forgive you. you and love you anyhow. You said so, it. So God loves brings us to a point that he loves us just because He's God. Amen. He created us and he loves us. Amen. He wants you to love, not just because of your family. Anybody can love that family, but you got to have the love of family. You got to have the love of things like cars, trucks, houses, et cetera, et cetera. You got to have the love of your job. I have the love of school, the love of church. Amen. The Amen. Love of membership and to, to just love one another. That's what God wants you to do. He wants you to learn how to forgive. He wants you to learn how to put your arms around one another and engulf them with nothing but love, joy, peace. Not lust. No, you know, no, no. People no. get lust and love mixed up. Amen. But he wants you to love, genuine, love somebody, care about them, and know that they are a part of you because all of you are part of God. God is love. Amen. You, you know, Pastor, I, I just want to put this back in here too. You know, many times we forget about, you know, how God loves us even when we rebel yeah. against him. You know, one minute we serve him and one minute we turn our back on him, but he still loves us. Yeah. And, and even when we deserve, you know, eternal death, he's still struggling to give us a way out, to give us another chance, to give us a... a Chance yes, for eternal, yes, yes, eternal yes, yes. life, not eternal death. Come on. In other words, God chooses to love us and provide a way of salvation. Amen. In other words, He wants each of us each to of be us. saved. Amen. He don't want anyone to go to, to hell. Lost. No one. No one. But so He keep providing. We all talk about that ram in the bush, but that ram been in the bush so much. And continues to be in the bush. Because every time we need him. Hey. All we have to do is call on his name. Ask for forgiveness. Mean it in our heart. Amen. Believe that it's done. And you know what? He's so faithful. He's so faithful. He's so just. Yee. He's so merciful. Hallelujah. He's so kind. Yeah. That he still, like you say, love us anyhow. Forgive us anyhow. Yeah. And we can't do nothing about Hallelujah. it. Hallelujah. You know, co he says, uh, uh, it. If you come to me mm -hmm. and show me that you love me, yeah, I guarantee you no man can pluck you out of my hand. Why? Because he love you. He yes. takes you in just like a hen takes her bitties and put her under her wings and, and, and nurse them. That's what God doing for you. That's what he want to do for you. My Why? God. Because my God, God is, is love. And if you love anybody, you bone of God. Yes. And you yes, can't be bone yes. of God. If you don't love him, that's it. You Pastor. got to that's love people, it. love his people. You can't say I love God and then don't care for other people. You got to love people. You got to be born of God and knoweth God. When you knoweth God, you know love, you know joy, you know peace, you know happiness. Why? Because loving God is loving people. Yes, it loving is. People yes, it is. is loving God. Yes, no, it is. not that God. You don't know God if you don't love people. Not just some folk, but everybody. Everybody. My God, my God. You know, we look at verse 9, Pastor, and it says, In this was manifest the this, love of God toward us. That's what it says. In other words, he said, In this was revealed yeah. the love of God toward us. Why? Because that God sent his only begotten son Woo. into the world that we might live through, through him. him. In other words, <clears throat> the, uh, the revealing, 
That's how God revealed it. He revealed it through that love of giving Jesus Woo. to go come down through 42 generations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to, to <clears throat> die, not for his sin. Come on, God, come on. But he came down to die for what we did, what hey, mankind man. did. Hey. And when he came down, my God, woo, he woo. gave up Come on. himself. Yes, he did. By giving his son. Only begotten That son. he could what? Keep mankind together with him. Amen. Why? That's everyone. Because he wanted everyone that love it. Mm. Hey, he hey. wanted everyone, everyone to try and love one another. Yeah. And that's what we are in a season of. We are a season of unconditional, unconditional love. love. Woo. Meaning that, that that's the meaning that we got to stop putting strings attached to our love. Come on. You know, we got to begin to allow ourselves to go to that higher standard and love just because of. Yeah. Just because you're a child of God. Just because you are you're a sinner and you need God. Hey. In other words, there's some work that we have to do as Christians. When we profess that we love Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know, we can we can say that we do, but actions speak louder than oh words. Oh, my God. Yes, Amen. it does, Pastor. So God wants you to show some kind of action that you love one another. He wants you. I mean, he didn't say this uh, just, for you, just to be talking, but he said it because he knew that we were going to need one another. That's it. Amen. You can't live in this world by yourself. My you God. need somebody. And you need one another. In this was manifest the love of God towards us. Who is us? You and I. Yes. Why? Because that God sent his only begotten son mm -hmm. into the world that we might through him. My God. We might learn how to love one another. After God said, said unto the people, he said, he said to the father, he said, father, Forgive them, mm. for they know not what they do. Amen. Even though they were whipping them and beating them all night long, he said, forgive them, for they know not what they do. They don't understand the love I have for them, that I'm able to forgive them. Yeah. And that's what he wants you to do. He wants you to be able to forgive and not be always ready uh, to fight, always ready to destroy, always ready to take it in your own control. Amen. But give it to Jesus. Put it in his hand and let Jesus work it out. Amen. You, you know, Pastor, when I look at the bottom part of verse 9. All right. And, and, and it, when it states, uh, God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. When I look at that is that God still gave us a way out. Because what he did was he sent his son to satisfy his justice and the wrath that he had right. towards sin. Come on. In other words, he couldn't just let it go undone. Come on with it. So he had to have, you know, he, he had to have his only begotten son only. to pay a price yeah. for mankind he because he still loved us so much that he wanted to still save mankind no matter what. No matter what. So that's what we have to say. When we see those children going astray, we can't just walk away and say, Come on. oh, I'm tired, I'm tired. What if, what if God would have gotten tired? Woo. You know, we can't say, we well, I ain't going right. to help them no more. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to the jailhouse anymore. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not going out there in the streets and bring them back home Woo. anymore. Woo. No prison ministry. Yeah, I, I, in other words, I've taken in my no street hand, ministry. I've <laughs> taken in my hand hey, hey. that I've had enough. Yeah. And you have to remember to yourself, what if God had to said it for you and I when we were well, in our we, sin? What would we be? What would we be? Hey. If when we was down in the muck and the mire hey. and he had to pull us up. But just think about it. Mm. Just think about the blessing you don't receive. My God. Just think my about God. how he done covered you. How just many think times about he how had he to, brought you. How many times how many he time had to he turn us you. around. Hey, 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 hey. I'm telling you. How many times he saved us already? My how many God. times he lifted us out of the muck and the mire? I mean, how many times have he brought you? How many, how, how many times it looked like you wasn't going to make it? But somehow God, he he already made a way for you. 
Put money in your pocket. Put Amen. shoes on your feet. Amen. Put clothes on your back. He will see you through. All you got to do is trust him and watch him as he will deliver you. You know, Pastor, and we put it He's in the past. He's an on time, then. God. We put it in the past and we say, how many times he, you know, has already done this. Yeah. But then we have to open that door and say, he's still working still. it out. Every he's day. He's still working it out. Never turn right it away. Right now in the present. Not even considering that he got the future also. Yeah. So, because he, what? The beginning yeah. and the and end. end. The so, Alpha he, he's still Omega. working it out. Hey, His hey, love hey, hey. is so powerful. Hey, hey, hey. That is stretching as far. Like you say sometimes, Pastor. You know, we can only see to the corner. Yeah. But he can... He's so powerful that his see. eyesight go all around. All around. Go, why? Because he made the corner. He can, he can see from the east to the west. So he loves us to the just side. that much. Amen. Mm. Amen. And I trust him. Yeah. And I put all my trust in him. Why? Because he's a just God. He's a righteous God. He wants you to learn how to love yes. like he's already shown us. How much he loves us and how far he's willing to go. There's nothing that he won't do. For you and I, tears in his eyes, agony in his eyes, stripes on his back. Yes. He still love you. He dying in his dying hour. He's dying for you and I. But early on that Sunday morning, huh? my God, my God, he gets up not for himself. No, no. But he gets up for you. He gets up for me. Yeah. He gets up yes, for us. Yes, Amen. Yes. And he declared that all, all power, power was in his hand. Yeah. All power, not just some power. But all power, whatever you need, whatever you want, whatever your your desires are, he got all power all invested power. in his hand. Will you try him? Will you trust him? Will you give him a chance? Yeah. Will you know that you know that you know, amen, that he's a deliverer? Who got you well? Who got you out mm. the hospital? Who got you out of jail? Who got you out of prison? All you got to know is that he's real. He will do it. He's an on-time God. Yes, he is. And all we have to do, Pastor, is just love. Love. Everyone Woo! that loves it. Woo! Everyone that loves love. it. You showing. That's all you got to do. You showing Christ. You, 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 you portraying who he really is. Because why? Because he loved us so much hey, 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 hey. that he gave up all just for me, Amen. just for you, just for the world. Everyone that love it. Amen. And I tell you, I've enjoyed this roundtable discussion. Amen. It's Pastor. getting good. It's about to make me want to preach in here. Amen. I'm just getting Amen, excited Pastor, about the joy of the Lord yes. and what the Lord has brought us. And I'm thankful and I'm overjoyed with joy. Peace and happiness on what God talk about. Love, I want to get on board. I want to be on board. Why? Because of the happiness and the joy of the Lord. Amen. God bless you and keep you. Here's our prayer. We're getting ready to close out, but we don't want to do that without giving you an opportunity. If you don't know about this love, you don't know about this joy, I want to give you an opportunity to Amen. come to God and, and right there, wherever you are, all you got to do is repeat after me. Yeah. If you're already in the church, great. But if you're not in the church and you want to be a part of this gospel, repeat after me. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for all my sins. Yes, God. I believe that you rose on the third day with all power in your hands. Yes, God. I come to you and ask for forgiveness, that you forgive me all my sins and all my wrongdoing. Yes, And I God. now believe that that I am saved yes, and I'm a part God. of the gospel train. God bless you. Thank you so very much. Those of you who repeated after me, you are now a born again a child of God, and we thank you for coming into this realm. Yes. God bless you and keep you. Certainly is our prayer. Amen. Until we meet again, God bless you, but we don't want you to leave without an opportunity of giving. And those of you who want to give in your tithes, you offering the sow a seed into this ministry. Amen. We want you to do so by way of Cash App, United One Way Baptist Church. Cash App, or you can sell it to 706-399-6401. Or you can mail it to the church, United One Way Baptist Church, 1042 13th Street, Augusta, Georgia, 30901. God bless you. Thank you so very much. Co-pastor, 
God bless you. Amen, you. Pastor. So glad to be a part of this round table. And we invite you back every week. Every week. To tune in, join in with us for our round table discussion. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Till we meet again. If you take care of God business. God will take, take care, care of your business. Be